Hi, Dad. Happy birthday. I hope you enjoy our series, our YouTube cooking series. Thank you so much to Lisa for thinking about it and, uh, and encouraging us all. And to Sydney for setting up the YouTube channel. It's been really fun. And um, I have a cat here. That's not very professional. Um, today, I want to share with you corn salad. It's a really simple simple recipe. I sometimes make it for Thanksgiving. I made it, I think, for New Year's. Um, people like it a lot, So, and it's, and it's super simple. So these are the ingredients. Um, a frozen corn, whole kern, kernel, uh, kernels of corn. Um, usually I make a bigger amount, but I'm just going to make this, this amount. So I'm going to have some of the other parts of the recipe. Green onion, and if one thing I learned in the pandemic, if you don't have something, you can substitute. So I'd recommend substituting onion. This is a diced onion that I used for another recipe or onion powder, salt, olive oil, dill, and then two kinds of olives, the green olives with the red centers and black olives. So, Pretty much you just assemble all these ingredients and really I like to just um, not measure too much but just use taste to and looks to determine what this should turn out to be. So here's, I'm just opening up, this is a frozen bag, it's been out for about an hour now, it's just cold, it's a cold salad. Um, so I just pour the kernel corns into the bowl, I'm going to use this um, these tongs to just stir in everything. Next, I'm going to cut my green onions. I'll cut off the white part at the base. Just We're just gonna use the green part of the green onion and we're gonna just set these aside. And then I just make little rectangles chopping through. This is the most um, involved process for this salad. Everything else is just pouring it in. And I, I'm going to use all of this because I really like green onion. So I'm just going to toss it in here. Add some color. I want to say um, red pepper might be nice too for color um, or anything else you can think of. No rules. So this is a lot of onion with this corn. And you can see it makes a, that equal green and yellow. So I'm not going to use these diced onions, but if you had them, you could use these or again, onion powder. Next, um, we're going to use black and green olives. I'm having trouble opening it, so I'm just going to get a, um, a towel. I'm trying to do this in one take because I had some trouble with my last um, recipe that I tried. Maybe not. Let me try the green olives. These are new. Ah, but they're easily opening. Open. So I'm just going to take about half. I, I just pour a little juice in and use about half the jar. If you like black olives better, you can go more black olives. You can go more or less olives. And um, to me, this looks about enough. So I just stir it all up. Don't know if we're going to get black olives today, but I really love black olives, so I'm going to just try to open them later. A little black will add a little bit more color. Then I just add some dill. Um, if you have fresh dill, that's great. I'm just going to sprinkle it around and then toss it in. I like to sort of see the little dill throughout, so I think I need a little more. I'm 
I forgot to reserve some for Paul. Paul doesn't like um, olives, and he really does like the corn and the green onions with dill and olive oil. So I don't think I'm gonna make try one more time to get these black olives open. Yay, I did it. So this is about half a jar. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in reserving some of the liquid. Well, that's not gonna be possible. So I'm just gonna pick it out, pick out some of the black olives. These are halves, but I like full black olives too. And these are Kalamata, Kalamata half olives, or just those traditional black olives. And that really adds really a nice look to it. A little more of this green, this black. It's a little red from the pimentos and those green olives. Then I just add olive oil. And again, I just make some circles, pouring out the olive oil. Stir it up. And finally salt. I just make two circles with the salt and stir it in. You could also add black pepper if you like. Really simple, different. I think it's just as nice for a summer barbecue as it is for Thanksgiving salad. Corn salad with olives. Dad, I hope you have a wonderful birthday. I look forward to seeing you soon.